Well, the Islamic State group taking responsibility for today's deadly terrorist attacks, and U.S. intelligence officials believe an Afghan-based branch of ISIS carried it out. News Nation correspondent Evan Lambert joining us live. Evan, you have some details about this terrorist branch. Well, that claim of responsibility coming from ISIS's news agency tonight. I spoke with the former national security advisor, H.R. McMaster, about ISIS-K, that affiliate of ISIS operating in Afghanistan, and about how much more dangerous they might get. These groups do feed on each other. At times, they compete with each other for influence. Former Trump administration national security advisor H.R. McMaster says ISIS-K is an offshoot of the ISIS terrorist network, which at one point controlled large portions of Syria and Iraq. The K, standing for Khorasan, the ISIS affiliate in Pakistan and Afghanistan. Experts on the region say ISIS-K has posed a dangerous threat in Afghanistan over the past few years. ISIS-K has fought recently with the Taliban. The two groups considered bitter enemies. This all leading to the chaos and deadly instability in Kabul Thursday. What we're seeing in Kabul today is only the beginning of what will be, uh, you know, I think, a series of, of terrorist attacks uh, that will inflict tremendous human suffering on the Afghans initially, as you're alluding to, uh, then to others in the region. CENTCOM's Commander General Kenneth McKenzie saying if ISIS is proven responsible, the U.S. will hold them accountable. We've been clear all along that we're going to retain the right to operate against ISIS in Afghanistan. And we are working very hard right now to determine attribution, to determine who is associated with this cowardly attack, and we're prepared to take action against them. 24-7, we are looking for them. All right, so Evan, obviously the focus uh, on Afghanistan, but does ISIS-K have the ability to coordinate attacks here on American soil? Nicole, General McMaster says not yet, not at this time. But of course, as you've been hearing, he and other experts do expect that that violence on the ground in Afghanistan could continue. Back to you. Evan, thank you for that.